my foot to say, for the Father up above is looking down with love. So be careful, little mouth, what to say. That's kind of my motto today. But first thing I want to say is this. Do you know that kids and teenagers are important in our church? We are. Ha! It even says so in the Bible. You know what? We are a gift. Uh -huh. That's what it says in Psalm 127. It says children are a heritage from the Lord and a gift. Yep, we're so special. We're like quivers. That's like a quiver full of arrows. That means, well, a lot of good things. Ha! You know what? Sometimes I think big people forget. My mama forgot yesterday at the bank. I was being so good. I was standing there. <laughs> I wanted a lollipop. Yep. And the guy said, hey, you're being a good girl. You want a lollipop? I said, yes, please. And when he handed it to me, I looked up. There it was, a bat in the cave. And I said, uh, excuse me, sir, you have a booger. I thought my mama was gonna melt me with the look she gave me. Oh, you know that look. Mm. Yep, but I lived through it. And I had a lollipop. Anyway, on with my story. We are important to the church. Without us, there's really no future for our church. They need you, teenagers, and you, children, because, well, we're the next generation. We are. And you know what? The Bible gives us something to work on. In 1 Timothy, it says in 4.12, to be an example. Us. Yep, in how we act and what we say. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have told him about the booger. But I wouldn't want one in my nose hanging out for people I see. I don't know. Anyway, we're supposed to be examples in how we act and what we say and what we do. You know, we can do that. Love. Love others like Jesus would. And when you have the chance, tell somebody. Jesus died for you, and if you believe in him as the Savior, you can go to heaven. That's where I'm going. How about you? So be careful little about what you say. Ha! And love Jesus every day, every member. Kids, you're important to that church. Mm -hmm.